Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Bad Decisions with Jazz. Happy to have you here, I'm Jazz. And today we're gonna to talk about the fashion haul that I'm doing for Zaffle. I just want to say, full disclaimer, that this video is not sponsored at all by Zaffle. These are my personal opinions about how I feel about them, some outfits that I had bought because I decided to binge spend. We're gonna talk about the outfits that I got and see how I dress them up and like the vibe of them. So like the whole, Part of this is I'm going to Florida and so I decided to get a bunch of outfits I don't know about anybody else but like I need a whole new wardrobe whenever I'm going on vacation somewhere like I have to get a new wardrobe I have to like stunt a little bit so it was really important for me to get new outfits so that way I could post some more pictures on my Instagram and not be like basic I felt like my Instagram was getting a little basic for me it was always in my house because of COVID so Anyways, you don't want to hear me talk about my life story, so let's jump into it. What is the first outfit? So the first outfit is a really beautiful blue skirt and top, and I loved it, so I give it a 10 out of 10. It fit really amazing. The only concern that I had with it was that the top was a little loose, like at the bottom, and it didn't give me that tight seal that I was really looking for that I had seen in the photos, which was a little disappointing. I had to do like a little tie to deflect from the fact that the bottom of it was loose. I didn't like that. I also really don't like wearing bras with shirts, but it was it was a little see-through. I love it, so I can't I can't wait to post pictures in it. Yeah, I probably posted them because I'm posting this video afterward. But it was it was a really beautiful outfit. It felt good. It fit good, it made me feel sexy, and I loved it, and it was like, I don't remember how much it was, I'm gonna have to look it up and just give you guys all the links to the outfits down below in the description. The next outfit that I tried on was a really cute bathing suit, it was one piece, but it was definitely really scandalous with the cleavage that it was showing. I felt like it showed cleavage to the point where I decided to put a skirt on it. But it definitely gave a lot of good cleavage. I love some good cleavage. It gave good curving, but it did come with a string. And I was, I put it together on the swimsuit the way that I figured out it would work the best. But it definitely did not look like in a picture. So I wish that they had maybe given directions on how to do it because not all of us are gifted and clever. I'm, I'm not. It was definitely a cute bikini, don't get me wrong. Personally, I, I don't know if I would wear it, so I can't really rate it. As far as the fitting goes, it was a really good fit. I did have you know a little bit of struggles trying to get it to really cover me. Uh, without that string, it was not going to cover me at all. So I would say maybe a 5 out of 10. I thought it was decent. The next outfit was probably my favorite. Definitely a 10 out of 10. It was this really cute one-piece bathing suit that really fit me nicely and it had this really cool like one shoulder vibe and like a little I mean you can see it so you know what I'm talking about but it, I loved everything about it it would look really amazing with tan skin I thought it was amazing so definitely a 10 out of 10 I only dressed it up with sunglasses and I did a necklace but I don't recommend doing a necklace I just kind of did it just to give it that little you know that oomph you know um, and then a bracelet as well. That's basically how I dress up all my outfits. The next outfit was this red bathing suit that I absolutely love, and I love red. Clearly, I love pink too, but I love red on me personally. I think it looks amazing on me. So this red bathing suit that I got, it came with like this little tie that you just tie around your waist and it makes you look like really nice and snatched and everybody likes to look snatched, am I right? And I dressed it up with some Louis sunglasses and then a Louis purse and I figured it like fit the vibe perfectly. I feel like I just needed one of those like slip on heels, you know? And I just thought it was like a million bucks right then and there. But it was definitely a really cute outfit. Outfit. I loved it. I loved everything about it. It fit nicely. It was conservative, but it was also very classy, very sexy, and I, I love it. 10 out of 10. The next outfit was a really adorable outfit. I was feeling myself a little bit too hard with it, but it was like these safari slash jungle looking shorts, but they look like jungle meets Instagram baddie type of vibe. And I just thought it was really amazing, so I decided to get them. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take a risk. So 
so I bought them and then I paired it with this black top that really like accentuated like my cleavage and it lifted it up all by itself I really didn't need a bra and oh my god I was living for it it was like a corset vibe so like in the back it was like lace like X's you know and then you just kind of pull it to tighten it and then you would tie it and I just thought it looked really amazing putting it on was the most stressful and difficult thing in the world but the after result of that was 10 out of 10 for that outfit I love the shorts they fit so nicely they made my waist look snatched which I love that and I love the shirt because it just really complemented my upper body as a woman. I love necklaces with lower cut shirts. I think that it really accentuates the beautiful qualities that women have like right here. Obviously our cleavage but also like the bones. The next outfit that I put together was this really adorable white top. It had um, a nice one shoulder vibe and then it had like a little tie so you can tighten it a little bit again so your waist looks a little bit snatched. And then I put it with some jean shorts and I thought that was a really cute vibe with a belt and uh, some sunglasses and it just gave her a really like, I feel like it was a Cali vibe, honestly. And I really loved everything about it. I did it with a cute little blue bag and I was living my best life with it. I absolutely loved it. So I definitely, 10 out of 10, I love the shorts. The only thing is, if you're anything like me, then your hips are definitely a lot wider than your waist. So it didn't really complement my waist so much as it did my hips. Like it fit my hips, no problem. And I think maybe I just got the wrong size. But I think even if I had gone like a size smaller, then it just would have been too tight on my thighs. Definitely something to keep in mind with, but if you just pair it with a belt, honestly, I think it will work just fine. The next outfit that we have is that safari jungle looking, those pants, shorts, shorts. The safari jungle looking shorts, and I paired it with this really cute pink top. And wait, there's more. Actually, that pink top is part of a bathing suit, and it was really high-waisted, but that bathing suit was cute. Uh, 10 out of 10, I love the outfit. I thought it looked really cute together. And I think that basically concludes our outfit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please just give it a thumbs up and click subscribe to see more quality content that I am working on uploading. It's a weekly thing. My podcast, Bad Decisions with Jazz, has a new episode every Wednesday because on Wednesdays we wear pink. I thought it was relevant, so I hope that you guys took the time to go look into that. And I think that kind of completes this video so thank you guys so much for watching be safe be happy and be loved xoxo jazz